guys and welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss structured english with the help of an example so guys for the full video all of you stay tuned karen jetley live so guys what is structured english so guys the structured english is a simple english in which we document the business processes and the business rules in such a way so that it can be clearly understood by the programming team it can be clearly understood by the programming team without any confusion okay now what do mean what do i mean by documenting the business processes and rules see guys whenever a information system works or whenever a business works okay in the day to day activity so there are many points where the business a uh, operators or or where the people who are running that business they have to take some decisions they have to take some decisions for example who is the customer what type of the of the customer what type of discount for what type of customer okay how how we can calculate the points if the customer is vip or something okay so many 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 there are stages where in a business process the business operators they have to take the decision and in not only the business operator or any information system which is used by the business okay has to take some decision depending upon some conditions okay depending upon some conditions okay now what is the condition and what decision we have to take corresponding to it so it is dependent upon our business process or our business rule okay now when i want to program that logic when i want to program that logic based upon what decision i have to take based upon what condition or what decision the information system has to take based upon what condition so that logic can be documented using structured english so that the programming team who has to make your information system okay does not have any confusion about the conditions and their corresponding actions okay so how do we document it we document it using something called as a structured english so what is a structured english it is a way of documenting the business processes and rules so that it can be easily understood by the programmers who are going to program your information system so if they can understand it clearly so there won't be any confusion okay or any ambiguity while they are programming it so how do we do it we do it using structured english we do it using structured english now to explain you so we will take one example so i will write the example on this side the problem and how we will implement it in structured english on this side so guys here is an example of online bookstore so where the customer can book uh, order books online okay so and these are some of the rules of that store so these are some of the business rules for that store the rule number 1 is the customer must have an account to order book the customer must have account to order book so how we will write it in a structured english if new customer then create account else login and place order okay so the rule number 1 is customer must have an account if the customer is new so then the customer must create his account if he is not a new customer then he can log in and he can place order now rule number 2 all the items in the customer order must be checked for availability now again if ordered items are available 
then what do you do then add them to cart so if the ordered items are available then add them to shopping carts if items are not available else then what do you do display message display items not available okay rule number 2 now then third if the co total cost of items is more than or equal to 50 dollars then free shipping okay if it is less than that then customer has to pay for the shipping okay now then what happens is okay so here all the available items in the cart then what do you do then you calculate total calculate total and here what is if total is greater than or equal to 50 dollars then what you do then free shipping okay if it is not then what do you do else add shipping cost to total so what happened here so these were my rules and this is my structured english so guys the structured english is so we write these rules in plain clear english okay using if else if else so that when the programmer has to program our business rules okay he will understand it clearly so there won't be any confusion for him for example customer must have account to order the books so if new customer then create account else log in and place order number 2 then if all if all items in the customer orders must be checked whether they are available or not if ordered items are available then we add them to the cart else we display the message item not available then we calculate the total and again if total is greater than or equal to 50 then we give him free shipping okay else we add the shipping cost to the total so what is this these are the business rules and what is this this is a structured english basically guys structured english is very easy to write okay and it removes all the confusion which a programming team may have may have okay so some people also called structured english as pseudo code it is similar to your algorithm so some people also call it as pseudo code because it is like a program code written in english pseudo means false it is like a programming code written in english language and easily from this logic you can program it in any programming language so guys i hope i made myself clear so guys this was our structured english and guys in case you like if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned